hiring a personal chef to come and cook for us because we're having an important business meeting. We'll be in here talking, but he will be in here cooking. He's bringing all his own food and stuff. Midway through, I'm gonna come and be like, oh, actually, hey, do you know how to cook these instead? Like, yeah, I don't, I, we don't actually want any of that. Will you just cook this? Just put it in the microwave right here. I don't really know how to do it, so we have him to come and help us. What else are personal chefs for? Just a minute. Hi, Tom. Hi, how you doing? This is what you guys are gonna eat today? Yes, ma'am. Hey. Hi, how you doing? Whatever you need. Cool. Sounds good. Thank you. All right. We have a spinach and blueberry salad. And then what else? Uh, ribeye steak. What would he bring to the table in terms of going in with you? Because that, that sounds like a partner deal for sure. Yeah, it sounded like a partner deal. And he wanted um, 30%. You mind making me some chocolate milk here? Yeah, sure. Okay. And then just put like four scoops of it in here. Okay. Thank you. Two cups, please. Look at that chocolate milk being there. Really see how it is there before I can give you like a fair yeah, assessment of it. Working uh, thank you. Yeah, bro, appreciate you. Does this have four scoops in it? Uh, I did like four and a half. Oh, okay, great. You Thank want you. More in it? Um, no, that's all right. Let me know if you guys need anything else. That's not chocolate. Four scoops. When do you use a little tiny baby spoon? Have you ever cooked these before? I don't think so. You just put it basically. Mark away, basically. Yeah. Yeah, just throw this in there. I don't know. I don't know how to do it, but there's another one in there. Okay. Would you mind just putting those in real quick and bringing them out? Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, we don't need we don't need that stuff. We just put this in. Okay. You don't want the steaks? No, nah, we this will be fine. Thank you. Yeah. Excuse me. Would you mind just heating these up for us, please? One of them. Yeah. It's just the knives there, and then you stab like you cut a little thing here, 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 microwave right here. Okay, yeah. Okay. You just put it in for like two minutes. Okay. Um, no, we don't, we don't need them. Those, those will do. Okay. Yeah. Everything okay? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's all right. Okay. Yeah, that looks great. Thank you. I don't have any issue. Looks very good. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. I was just saying if you could put this in for a little bit longer. The broccoli is really, really hot, but then the chicken was kind of cold on the inside. Okay. Uh, this chicken is like really cold on the inside, but then the corn is like, you know, was really hot. Yeah, mm -hmm. I could throw it back up in there. Okay. And when do you want the appetizers out? The appetizer? Yeah. The no, no, this is fine. This is fine, it's, if you can heat it up again. Okay, so what about the pulled pork slider? When do you want that brought out? Oh no, we don't need that, just to just heat these up. I'm almost full, thank you though. You guys are sure you don't want any of the food that I brought out? Oh no, this will do, this is fine. I didn't try to do anything wrong. No, you guys no, you did great. I'm not exactly sure how those, these things work anyway, so it was nice to have you. Thank you. It was very good, by the way. I can tell it was good for my profession. Hey, what's this, oh, by the way? Good. What kind of meat? Is it chicken or pork or? I believe yours is chicken. I have the boxes here. This is great. Yours is uh, grilled barbecue chicken and yours is country fried chicken. Oh, okay. There you go. Thank you. Y'all all right? Very good. So the chicken's good. The 
Uh, brownies aren't that good. Mashed potatoes okay, but I like the corn though. Yeah, I've never had one of the frozen meals before. <laughs> okay, Thank you guys. I left everything on the top. Uh, here, I have a tip for you guys. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Anything else I can do for you guys for early? I think we're good. All right. I'm good. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. Thank you. Appreciate yep. it. They made chocolate milk for us and TV dinner. The freaking stirring sound kills me. When I hear the, the milk being stirred. Beep. <laughs> hey dude, we have a camera in here. Camera's in the kitchen. It's all for like a joke. We do. You're <laughs> Are you <laughs> serious? <laughs> I didn't know what was problem. Like I was like, like just not. I just don't know how to cook the meal. Those microwave things. I needed to hire somebody to come do it for us. <laughs> I just want to tell you guys, it's just a joke what we're doing. Like we had more cameras set up in there to record everything. <laughs> you guys, you guys did. So the one lady I think recognized me. We have a so familiar. Familiar? But she didn't say nothing. So I'm like, all right. Well, sometimes people like think they know me, but then don't i just went with it anyway she did know my name though at, at the end and she's like ross creation okay yeah. suffering from success it's in here somewhere hold on in the glove box here it is the other night i went to a cemetery at three in the morning very spooky and i dressed up in my satanic outfit which i wear all the time and i ordered uber eats and so to see the reaction of that whenever they get there go check it out it's on our website RossCreations.com, become a member today. You can watch it and laugh. I really enjoyed this one. We're gonna do more cemetery pranks.